Kilalani natin ang country's best bet in pole vaulting sa Tokyo Olympics, si EJ Obiena. Ako si Ernest John Obiena, pole vaulter. Proud to be Pinoy sa Tokyo 2020 Olympics. Mga four years old po ako, nasa Rizal Memorial ako. My dad would basically put me like to grip the pole. My dad would like uh, swing me to the big, uh, basically, mattress. And then high school, that's when pole vaulting started to to have competitions in that level or in that age group. So I started pole vaulting and then I saw it as a token to go to a good university. You know, that's when I started to get serious. Nung 2014, sa edad na 18, nagbago ang buhay ni EJ nung pumasyal sa Pilipinas ang idolo niyang si Sergey Bubka. Nagpa-autograph siya and it was life-changing. I was supposed to be in and out in maybe 5-10 minutes. It ended up like maybe three, four hours of just talking about the sport that we both love. And then before it ended, he came to me and said, you know, we have actually a program in the IAAF. If you jump five meters, uh, we will be able to kind of sponsor you or send you a scholarship to be in the Formula in the World Pole Vault Training Center. He opened the door for me to, to know what this pole vault thing internationally. He nurtured and he found a way to, to guide me and put me in the, the good hands of my coach right now, which is Vitaly Petrov. He challenges us every single day training. That's one of the reasons why he's an amazing and great coach that he is. I see him as a mentor. I see him as a second father figure for me. And there are years that he actually helps me and funds my accommodation, quote unquote, here in Italy because he, he saw potential in me. I'm very thankful for my coach who put me to where I'm at. I do believe I can win gold, and that's how I approach every competition. I go in, I want to win. Marami kaming naniniwala sa kakayahan mo, EJ. Papapangako ko sa inyo, gagawin ko lahat. Manalo, makuha yung pinto para sa ating bayan. Hindi ko alam kung paano ko sasabihin kung gano'n ka importante sa akin ang suporta ng Pilipinas. <laughs> yung mga messages na nababasa ko po sa inyo rin. I just want to say thank you. Maraming maraming salamat po. It's not an easy thing to stay motivated. It's not easy to stay fit and stay training for the student athletes. I'm really hoping that sports can come back soon and and see the ballet and finally be active again and all the student athletes be able to perform and be able to enjoy the camaraderie of sports.